Hey guys, so uh, I've had many YouTube videos showing me uh, riding my Steam Rocket skateboard and I wanted to make a video that would explain uh, how it works. And so uh, here I actually have uh, the exact same uh, motor that I've been using. It's actually just a uh, Swage Lock brand uh, stainless steel tank and uh, it's a one gallon tank and, uh, and I basically I fill it up about 70% of the way full with just regular tap water and uh, heat it up and it actually has a uh, pressure relief valve uh, it's actually a steam rated one uh, it's set to about 500 psi and uh, and then it also has a specially modified valve um, it has a uh, constant taper for, uh, for for good rocket efficiency and a Teflon exit cone and it also has a uh, Viton o-ring which I found to be the best for uh, this kind of application so, um, and I also have some other uh, features on it as well. Uh, I have these uh, thermal stickers, and what they do is they, uh, they will change color uh, permanently uh, once they've uh, reached a certain temperature. So it's kind of a good way to like, show what kind of record it's been to. And they all kind of unanimously point to uh, about 466 uh, Fahrenheit. Which is a, a that's actually, that's pretty good performance, and since I'm holding on to it, I kind of don't want to uh, generate too much thrust. Um, the throat size in this is about a quarter of an inch, so it it, uh, it kind of just tone. It's just a lot a uh, 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 low thrust for a long period of time, so that way it's manageable. So it, you know it doesn't just rip from my hands, <laughs> and uh, and it is a little bit of a stunt to be holding on to it and a bit dangerous, so I actually just wrap it in a towel and then I uh, wear oven mittens. And the thrust is about uh, 25 to 40 pounds, depending on the temperature that I use and the fill volume. I've also found that I can add a little bit of essential oils, like cherry oil or uh, orange oil, and it smells great when it runs. It's pretty hilarious. Uh, also, I a little bit of, add a little bit of silica, which uh, gives it kind of like a boiling surface. Uh, long story short, there's some pretty crazy boiling going on inside of here to equilibrate with the valve being open like when you're turning it on it's just like just stuff boiling inside and then releasing it here and since there's a phase change going on here uh, I found that if I add some silica powder to it uh, it helps uh, uh, that phase change occur quicker with uh, with optimum performance and then uh, the other thing that I've been doing is I actually have a steam rocket jetpack so I'll bring that up And um, you can see I have several videos that also show the success of my Steam Rocket Jetpack. And, um, and so this one, it's a very similar tank. It's a one-gallon tank, uh, but it has a larger quart sizes on it um, to accommodate for a larger volume flow. Uh, this actually has a siphon tube, and you can't see it, but the siphon tube goes all the way down to about here. And what it doesn't have right now is it just doesn't have the pressure relief valve, so you know that's not there, so it's open right now because uh, I'm working on it and uh, if you've probably seen in the latest videos this doesn't look familiar I just had a valve here uh, this actually is a rotary pneumatic cylinder and uh, like I have one right here it basically it turns the valve for me and uh, you can actually see maybe there's an easy way to show that but it, it's basically a pneumatic cylinder that rotates uh, 90 degrees with uh, with some uh, uh, compressed air and it doesn't really quickly um, and it would be extremely convenient to have that, um, especially if I'm going to use it as an actual jetpack someday. I haven't used it as one just yet. But it could pick up probably like a kindergartner <laughs> or a cat or something. Uh, but uh, And then also I've just been doing experiments with the exit cones trying to match the um, steam. So if you notice here, we actually it does have this T, so it, spits, it spreads the, uh, the thrust into two equal um, exit cones. And so that way you probably can notice from the videos that it's pretty equal. It's picking itself up very nicely, kind of self-stabilized, and I just tend to hold it down from right here. And on my latest, most successful videos, I've taken it, uh, again with these Thermax stickers, I've taken it up higher uh, to about 466, kind of similar like the other tank. I believe I do have a higher record than that, uh, and that's in Fahrenheit. But uh, with that temperature, I mean, I, it was it was picking up <laughs> about... I would have picked up about 40 pounds of thrust, so um, pretty, pretty, fairly useful for 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 some things. And 
and uh, and then the fact that it just uses steam, the exhaust is not corrosive, toxic. It doesn't cost me anything really to run these tests. You can just do many of them, so it's a ton of fun. And uh, and then also you know you can make it smell good, <laughs> like cherries or or oranges. So as I continue to do all these things, uh, you know you guys should uh, check out my channel and see how this stuff goes along. If you can help me get a million views someday, a million views, I will wear this hat. Now don't, ah, I will wear this hat if you get me a million views. Signing out.